The San Jose Sharks and forwardy Vander Kane have reportedly agreed to a seven-year contract extension. We're going to discuss all the details, and I'll give you my thoughts coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, it's being reported that the San Jose Sharks and forward Evander Kane uh, seem to be in agreement here on a seven-year contract extension worth an annual value of $7 million. So that's $49 million over seven years. Now, as far as we know, this isn't a 100% official sign sealed and delivered as of yet, but that's what reports are suggesting, and we should have the final confirmation of the full details of the contract here very shortly. But uh, as we all know, Evander Kane was traded to the San Jose Sharks from the Buffalo Sabres at the trade deadline. He did seem to be a pretty good fit there. He had a pretty solid end of the regular season and uh, did pretty decent in the playoffs. Obviously, the Sharks ended up losing in the second round. Kane did end up missing a few games due to suspension as well. Um, so, you know, it wasn't a fantastic run with him for the Sharks, but it was pretty solid and it did seem like he was a pretty good fit there. So it doesn't come as a big surprise to me that uh, they wanted to keep him and that he was uh, uh, willing to re-sign there. He seemed to be enjoying himself. Uh, he went on uh, after being uh, traded to the Sharks, that it was a good fit, it was a good locker room, a uh, good group of guys and it seemed to fit well. So at the end of the day, I'm not surprised by this signing. Part of what I am a little bit surprised at, I'm a little bit surprised with his past history that they give him the longer term of seven years and seven million dollars. Personally, I thought it would have been a little shorter term and a little less money. I was thinking more along the lines of five and a half to six million. Uh, if you take a look at his track record, he hasn't been able to put together many full seasons in his NHL career. He's been um, had some trouble staying healthy. Um, he's had a little bit of consistency issues as well. I mean, he has you know hovered around the 30 goal mark a few times in his career. Uh, you know, he is a pretty solid player, but there just seems to be times when Kane's engaged and he's really putting the effort in. He can be a top goal scorer and really produce at a high level. But there's just seems to be too many times throughout his career where he just doesn't seem to be engaged and you don't even barely notice him out there. So a bit of inconsistency issues. Hopefully that'll change. Um, and thankfully, I'm, I guess as far as the term goes, seven years, I'm, I'm a little surprised they gave him a seven year term just because of his history. At the same time though, uh, he is young enough that I'm okay with the term for a lot of these guys in most of these situations. Um, I thought he would get a little bit less than seven million, but sometimes you overpay to keep a player uh, from hitting free agency and maybe that's what happened here. So give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of this Evander Kane contract? Did the San Jose Sharks offer him a very fair value? If you're a Sharks fan, are you pleased with this? Or do you think they might have overpaid to keep this player in the mix? Obviously seven years, seven million, it's a big commitment in seven years time. And it's really hard to predict what kind of player he's gonna be at that point in time. Uh, thankfully though for him, he'll still only be in his early 30s. So theoretically, this shouldn't be too bad a deal as far as the term goes, as long as he can produce you know, around a 30 goal score or more, $7 million is kind of the going rate for a lot of those players. So it's not a terrible contract in that sense. As long as he can stay healthy, put up the numbers that goes along with it, it should be okay. But based on his past history, I am a little bit surprised that they gave him what they did, but sometimes you do what you gotta do for a team to keep your star players, and it looks as though they did that. Now, one other tidbit here of information in case you forgot, when that trade went down with the Buffalo Sabres, uh, they did get a couple of conditional draft picks. One of them was next year's second round pick, which becomes a first round pick if they were to re-sign him. So obviously with this going down, uh, then the Buffalo Sabres will receive the San Jose Sharks uh, 2019 first round pick uh, since he uh, appears to be re-signing here. This should be made official here by the NHL and the Sharks just about any time. By the time this is posted, I might actually be official. Uh, I know there's lots of reports that were started circulating as early as yesterday on this. So we'll see, we should have official word here shortly. So once that comes, we'll discuss further down in the comment section. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams. There's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. We will catch you next time.